Hey there, it's Casey Demon with the Tax Cell Academy, and welcome to this week's Tax Cell Tip Series. Today, we're talking about what I really consider to be the secret sauce of being successful. One could argue this applies to any business or discipline in life, but today, of course, we're going to apply it to our tax cell business. The secret sauce is this very simple do what others are not willing to do. This is the biggest differentiator when it comes to success. It is that simple. And I see this time and time again. People will ask me questions about this or about that, and I can tell near instantly that they will never see success in this business simply because they always want to take the easy way out. And the easy way out is the same path everybody else is willing to take. The unfortunate thing about social media and about the internet in general is that most people only see the highlight reels of life. They only see the sales pitches. They only see the best parts. They see the checks people are holding up, the cars people are driving, the vacations people are taking, but they do not see the trainings that these same people went through. They don't see the number of deals these people research and analyze. They don't see the steps that they took that are different than most other people. People. As a tax sell investor, I know that the more difficult something is, the more profitable it is for me. The easier something is, the less profitable it is. I've done some consulting over the years for private auction houses that handle tax foreclosures. Now, these companies are paid a percentage of the sales price for their services. This is known as a buyer's premium. So, for example, it might have a 10% buyer's premium. You spend $10,000 on a piece of property. The auction house gets $1,000 of that. And of course, they want to increase these sales prices, which will increase their revenue and income. My advice to them is always this. Provide as much information about the property on your sales page as possible. Provide photos, descriptions, links to assessor's reports, sales histories, previous deeds, a title search, aerial maps, plat maps, street view, literally anything you can find about this property, have it displayed on the sales page and make it very, very user friendly. Coincidentally, this advice always increases the revenue since, as mentioned, the revenue is a portion of the sales prices. So having all this information at the user's fingertips increases the prices substantially. Of course, for investors, it decreases the margins substantially. Conversely, some counties, especially the rural counties who don't have a large online presence, if an online presence at all, and usually have much smaller budgets, will not be able to put forth that same effort to sell these properties, especially if they're selling those properties themselves and not hiring out a third party. If the listings are put into the local newspaper, and that's their only form of advertisement, and that local newspaper only has a parcel number and a legal description, that's a pretty difficult way to get started. But that's exactly how I like it. So I'll find those counties, I'll track down those properties, and I'll begin researching them. In many situations, I might not get far without having to go to the county office to research those properties through old school records. Or I might even have to pay a dollar or two to buy a plat map online somewhere to figure out where the property even is, since GIS does not exist there. And then I'll send some emails, make some phone calls, and do lots of research to figure out if I even want to invest in these properties in the first place. Of course, these are the properties that I usually end up paying the opening bid for. Nobody else is there to bid against me because it's too much work for most people. These are also the areas where nobody shows up to the auctions. These are also the areas where I make substantial amounts of money. Now, obviously, I get it. I understand there's a trade-off here between time, money, and effort. But the point is that I, along with many Tax Cell Academy members, often search out the more difficult properties, more different auctions, more difficult counties to deal with. And what happens here is at first, they are a little bit difficult. They are properties that take more time to research, counties where you have to make more phone calls, that kind of thing. But what happens is we're enticed by those counties because we know the large majority of tax investors are not willing to put forth the effort to go to those counties, to research those properties, to attend those auctions. But over time, that process for us gets easier and easier and easier. Meanwhile, you have 90, 95, even 98% of investors perhaps that are only looking for the easiest stuff. They only want 
to bid on a property or to buy a property if they can get the information like that at their fingertips. So do the extra work, do what others are not willing to do, and you will reap the benefits. You know, when I go on YouTube or somewhere and I get comments like, I went to this auction and all the prices are just way too high, I kind of chuckle to myself because I know they're not willing to put in the effort required. And truthfully, I chuckle to myself even more when the auction that they are talking about is being held by an auction company that I've made suggestions to on how to increase their prices and their income. And that has happened more than once. It makes me kind of laugh, but the fact of the matter is the large majority of people out there just aren't willing to put in the extra work. If you go just that little bit, I'm not even gonna say if you go the extra mile because it's not. It's just a little bit of extra work. If you do the stuff, if you go just a little bit farther than most others out there, you will reap the benefits. Do what others are not willing to do and you'll be drowning in as many properties as you want and you'll make a lot of money. It's as simple as that. I truly hope this helps you out. If we can be of any additional help, be sure to check out the links in today's show notes, including the one to our step-by-step -step training academy at taxcellacademy.com. Hey, take care, folks, and make it a successful day. We'll see you next time right here on the Tax Cell Podcast. Bye-bye.